If you take a look at Baba, I guess, as a, uh, as a bellwether for the broader China tech space, what did we really learn and, and, and take away from those numbers? Yeah, sure. So after three consecutive quarters of nearly 20 to 30 percent earnings decline uh, at Alibaba, the uh, the last June quarter was a mid-teens decline. And uh, what we estimate across the board, not only for Alibaba, but for China internet companies, is that we were seeing this earnings inflection. Uh, from the September quarter onwards, we're flat to earnings growth. And on a median basis, our China internet mega caps will be back to mid-teens earnings growth for the September and December quarter. And uh, I think this this Alibaba profit beat has been mostly trending in line with what we're expecting for the second half, which is easier base. Uh, that a lot of the weakness in consumption happens started from second half of last year, so we're entering to easier base. Second is self help from companies and cost cuts that they are cutting new business losses, more rational uh, control on on opex. These are driving the earnings growth, coupled with undemanding valuations that uh, we favor e-commerce and local services as our top pick. Uh, subsectors in China internet and we think advertising would be uh, one quarter lag typically we need consumption to come back before brands and merchants are willing to invest more into advertising and therefore our preference for e-commerce and local services what are your preferences in terms of the individual businesses across the space because uh, of course we learned a little bit more about uh, the health of the Chinese consumer but there's always that overhang of, of what regulators might do yeah, on, on that front, we, we actually saw July parcel volumes were roughly slightly faster than June, tracking so far. And that has been in sync with what uh, Alibaba CEO Daniel talked about, the improve, improvement in July versus June that they saw on consumption trends. So in terms of our preference, we, we still like consumption. Within that, uh, I think within e-commerce, there are categories that are less penetrated, like fresh, like healthcare. Uh, but overall, we think every company in the uh, China online space, including uh, live streaming different new formats that are tapping increasing wallet share and therefore China internet companies have been moving from user growth as uh, Alibaba stopped disclosing the annual active customers but more to APRU which is a uh, wallet share of users and we think this trend from users to APRU will, will continue. Ronald, when we look at Chinese tech, we always divide them between uh, those that actually benefit from the reopening and those that are actually pandemic darlings, right? Are we going to see the reopening trades catch up? Uh, in our outlook, we, we looked at how the, the lockdown beneficiaries have mostly outperformed reopening group of companies for the past consecutive 12 to 18 months. But as reopening hopes come in further, of course, COVID remains something that has to be tracked closely. Uh, we do think there is potential for the reopening plays, no, no matter it's travel or consumption. For example, apparel has been exceptionally weak over uh, April, uh, which is not a surprise. But as we head into a gradual reopening, as, as more Chinese consumers buy clothing, uh, kind of embrace local services, we think those will also benefit not only a low base, but also further digitalization of uh, local services mm. uh, and merchants. So what are you going to be watching out for when it comes to the regulatory environment? What are the next measures that we should uh, be careful of? Yeah, in our second outlook, we, we talked about that the uh, dual primary listings that we're seeing, we think uh, companies are preparing uh, at least uh, safeguarding their, their listings uh, with with uh, increased listing, not only just in the US, but in the in Hong Kong, changing to dual primary that includes or expands the investor base to Chinese uh, mainland investors. We think that that's one. Um, we'll continue to track um, how the PCLB and the China uh, bodies uh, continue to negotiate on that audit inspection. Uh, while generally we, we often see 2022 ending or implementation of the laws that were were initiated or launched in 2021. So we, we, this view continues that we, we expect uh, 2022 a year of implementation, less surprises and new norms in this new environment.